So Rising Sons is a nonprofit uh, organization that works with young men ages 18 to 28 to become highly qualified for competitive jobs in young ages. And we do this through personal and professional development as they get back to the community through safe and engagement. So the whole method of what we're doing is um, allowing these guys to get hands-on experiments, experience in the things that they like to do. So we have one guy who likes to do computer technology. Um, he has a high school degree, but he doesn't have a bachelor's. So it's hard for him to really get the jobs that he really would like to get in those fields. Um, so we figured, like, well, what is it that you want to do? He said he wants to start some kind of technology program for kids. So we put him in a, in a position where we help them with his uh, organizational strategy, um, help them out with building partnership with some a couple of schools. And so now he's running a computer technology program in two high schools where he teaches students to become A-plus certified, um, troubleshooting computer software. And um, they're now a help desk at these schools. So now the teachers are calling them to ask them to come up there to repair the computers. Um, so that's just like a perfect example of how we're allowed, allowed open up access to these guys to really um, get get these experiences and get things started with what they want to do with their own initiatives. And we also help the guys, we do community service projects with us too. So um, anytime we have anything doing like during the holidays or um, painting murals and stuff like that, these guys are always there on the forefront and helping us out and volunteering with like that as well. And then we run workshops with um, students too within schools. I mean, we're from like um, how to be a mentor, um, social entrepreneurship, um, small basic skills and like just like personal um, stuff from like nonviolence, uh, SAT, ACT prep. Mm -hmm. So it's like a lot of these um, these avenues is not only just helping out with with our own success, but at the same time when you have men who are eighteen to twenty eight, a lot of people don't touch that in that range. So instead of like making it look like the lost cause is like no, we need these people because everyone's focusing on the youth, but not really realizing that the youth are most affected by this age range. Mm -hmm. So we figure let's target this this. Uh, this age range so my overall vision is to be able to get enough money where we, I can hire these guys to pretty much do this thing as a full-time job and as they go on to progress they probably want to start their own businesses one day mm -hmm. and so uh, my vice president with Mark Lawrence he want to become a business consultant and I want to become an investor so um, what we like to do is have a model where um, the guys who come into our programs we can go through him as far as a business consultant piece and then as they're ready, uh, I'll be able to invest in it. And the, the ROI, majority of it is going to go back to the nonprofit. So that's like how we want to keep this thing sustaining. Um, we have a partnership with the organization called Stop the Badness right now to really focus on doing the STEM model. I'm only familiar with the science and knowledge and engineering mm -hmm. and math. Mm -hmm. So um, they have this black male scientist as a mascot. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have them going inside schools doing science projects with kids. So um, <laughs> so uh, we have them making water filters with the kids. Um, we just got a donation from an engineering co company that gave us all these robot kits. Mm -hmm. So now we're like have all these robots and we're going to be helping the kids to make. So they're going to be building their own robots and they're going to be able to move and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So eventually we're hoping to turn this into a cartoon. And with that cartoon, we hope to get us something on television. Mm -hmm. So think about your door explorers or your, like your little bills or like you know, things come on on Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. But not only are you have the kids who can see him on television, but he's also still in the schools. So kids will be engaged and be like, oh my gosh, I see him on TV. Now he's in my school doing the same thing. So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. going to make this model a lot different. And we're hoping that can be on top of what we're doing with the investment and co consultant firm as uh, self-sustainability as far as funding is concerned. Mm.